We are honored tonight to have Dr. Terry Bergeson with us, dispensing heartfelt thank yous and hugs to our winners. And let me tell you that you really haven't been hugged until you've been hugged by Terry. <laughs> Dr. Bergeson began her career in education as a uh, public school teacher in Massachusetts, so she's well aware of how much energy and enthusiasm is needed to be a successful educator, and she'd like to share a few words with you right now. Terry? Well, thank you, Enrique, and thank you to all of you for being here tonight to honor these wonderful teachers. And there's no night in the year that I look forward to more than the night of the Golden Apple Awards, to have incredible educators who have such a caring and love and skill with young people. So I congratulate each and every one of you for the programs that you've put together, for the commitment in your career, and I'm so happy that you get some recognition tonight. So we're delighted to, to, to reward you, to award these golden apples tonight. I am a teacher also. I started teaching when I was 20 in Massachusetts. I taught junior high school English. And um, English and social sciences were my love. Um, I miss teaching. Um, I still do teaching to the legislature and other people, but it's a lot more fun to work with students. Um, but the heart of teaching, when I think of the winners tonight, the, the, the people who are here that receive these awards this evening, they're building young chefs in their classes. They're building people who will construct our future, as Cal's program just talked about, from French to English literature to building young readers to bringing the world to children in White Salmon, which is a beautiful but very isolated community, but through books and through that incredible library, bringing kids into the world and the world to the kids, no matter where they are, through education and learning, and mathematics and science and all of the areas that we're creating. The thing that I love about teaching is a, this, this teaching is a triangle. You have a teacher, you have content, and you have a learner. And a teacher has to be able to connect and be in love with their content. And you hear the passion tonight, and we'll continue to hear it through the rest of the evening. Each one of these award winners loves what they do in terms of what they are teaching. You also have to be able to connect with the learners that you have, with the kids that you teach. And that respect and love for young people and the desire to empower them to build their lives and to make that connection then lets the content get into the kids. And if there isn't the ability to teach in diversified ways to find what motivates young people and to make that connection happen, learning doesn't happen for our kids. And everybody on this stage tonight is an incredible learner, a lover of young people, a lover of the, the content that they teach, and incredible teachers. So we are very lucky in this time of change in the 21st century to have a great education system and great teachers in our state. This is the decade of teachers. The more we care and support our teachers, the more we will benefit as a society as, as at large. And every young person today that has been affected by these teachers will tell you that. So I like your, your new saying, Cal. It takes a community to support a program. It takes a community to support the teachers that do these programs. So thank you again for the honors that, and the support that you give to each of these teachers. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>